What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. When we left off the last episode, we were playing around with this kind of um, interior design style here uh, with the lighting and such. And I think it's actually grown on me a little bit. It's been about a week since I touched the save file and I'm coming back to record this episode and I'm kind of liking how that looks, I think, overall compared to some of the other styles and the ideas we'd come up with. Um, obviously I didn't finish the lighting because I should have gone another... What was I doing? Every three? I think because there's a light there. One, two, three, a light there. So I should have been doing like over here somewhere, put another one and... Actually we could put one here and one here if that lines up. There's one light there, so one, two, three blocks between and then one. So I think that should work. Uh, we put one here, one here, and we could kind of keep that going for this area. We could just do one in each side of the walkway and kind of leave it as such. Um, but I don't know... And I don't know if I'm going to put anything back here or not because this was mainly just kind of like a maintenance area kind of thing. It really wasn't for anything particular. Um, but I have to admit, I don't know if I want to actually work on that today or not. Because we've been doing a lot down here and it's been kind of monotonous at this point. Um, a couple of people in the comments have expressed that, but I was, I was already feeling that way like... Um, kind of like, what else am I going to work on here? Um, for now, the storage room kind of does fine. I, I don't think there's really any need to mess with that at the moment. Um, kind of all of this is functional at the moment. There's still some things that need to be tweaked, but eh, it's, it's kind of whatever. Um, the med bay is fine except for the lighting and flooring. The flooring and lighting needs to be changed up, but I guess I could do the catwalks up to this and then have all of these be glass which would kind of still fit the same style idea um, I don't know um, and then this probably could do the glass thing and and have that be okay too but I'm, I'm actually thinking more a bit more of two things one I want to do some talking about some things for the series and for the channel and stuff uh, but also, I think I want to go up top. I think I want to do something with the top part at this point. Um, and you know, now that I think about it, I don't know that I ever... Did I ever get my driller back? I just all of a sudden had this feeling that I didn't. <laughs> like, I I don't think I actually got my driller back at, at, at any point. Maybe I did and I broke it down. Maybe I don't... I, I might not remember tearing it apart. That might be what I did. Um, the other thing, it's been a while, the other thing I just noticed that we could do, nope, oh. okay, so I've been playing Stationers. Whew, that's gonna be weird to get used to. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. We've been talking about, um, putting the uh pant not panels but putting the terrain back here i might just do some windows here that may be interesting uh this is the flat do i want the flat or do i want the tinted i think the flat would work here um can i get you to are you... wait no you're not locked onto it how do i get what's going on why why are you no connect that's weird. Okay, now you'll do it. Weird thing, you. Whatever. I guess I had the... Oh, that's that's right. I have the... Um, it, by default, that stupid... Um, turn on, the auto readjust thing comes back on, which is kind of annoying. Um, so we already have, let me turn this on, we already have the catwalks here, so we could actually do catwalks under these, um, uh, flight seats, 
and then maybe do glass under there. So that's something I hadn't thought about doing, but I think that's going to end up being kind of the um, the style we end up going with, I think. Um, so as far as the talking part goes, I had an idea this afternoon, um, mainly because I've been feeling a lot lately when I've been doing... Um, do I not have enough silicon? Is that what the problem is? Oh, it's off. I was like, well, it's set for... Yeah, okay. So that should make more silicon, which in turn should make more windows. Okay. So that might be slow, but it'll work. I think. I keep hearing that clicking. Not to mention, that's annoying. That's only a little annoying. Oh, so it's having to wait. It's, it's getting through the stuff, but it's having to wait. Okay. Um... But I've been feeling a lot lately where every time I, I log on to do more work here, not that it's not interesting. That's I think that's the big thing. It's interesting trying to expand the base and do more with it. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this, because I've been feeling like it's not very entertaining is probably a good word to use. Interesting, yes, in terms of... but. Okay, so building things is interest is fun. It's it's neat to see how you build something or whatever. But stylizing them can be a little tedious. I mean, I feel it myself personally while I'm doing some of this stuff that it's like, eh, this is kind of boring. Um, you're just like like this, you're just coloring blocks and doing things, it's like meh, whatever. Um, however, it's necessary. Yeah, uh, that's what makes it look cool, and that's what makes it, you know, kind of interesting and stuff where when we're watching the Inspiration series stuff and it ends up being like, wow, that's really cool. I wonder how they did that. You know, it's somebody took enough time to do it. Um, so, oh, I gotta be careful what block I mount this to. Ooh. Okay. Um, in fact, I might have to wait for that to fully break down. And I don't know if I can pull this off or not. I'm going to try it while it's... I have a feeling that's going to make that drop, but I can't remember if on a base and station if they won't fall. And they, they do on large ships and stuff. Nope. It fell. Oh. <laughs> Actually, what we'll go ahead and do is just paint this one as well. Uh, I wonder if that damaged this. Did this... Does it get, did this get hurt? That is some tough armor right there. I suppose. Alright, so I guess I can just bite the bullet and break down those cockpits then, because they're all gonna have to go, it would seem. Uh, and then we'll do that. Hopefully that doesn't get broke down first. And then after we get this stuff, like the catwalk here, attached and everything's, well... Darn. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't do that. It's not hurting anything, though. I'm kind of surprised. I was actually expecting that to do some damage, but... Oh, this should be fun. Whee! <laughs> it just looks funny. Alright. Um, and while we're here, I might move... I might move this back a little. That might be a little cramped. I think this would be a little too close, but I think this one is a little too far up now that I'm looking at it. Alright, so anyways, um, basically the long and the short of it is I'm thinking about, but I definitely wanted everyone's opinion as, well, frankly, I'm not the one who watches my stuff. You guys are. So it's partially important what I feel like doing because it'll adjust how well and how enthusiastic I'm doing it. But at the same time, it's also pretty important that the people watching it are okay with what they're seeing, too. There's, there's, that's a fine line, I think, as far as it, it's less important on like a let's play, other than just I'm not having fun with this game or something. Uh, but I think the creative mind comes more into play when you're doing stuff like... Um, Something like Dog Squad, or something like my book, or something where it's, you had an idea and not everybody's going to like it type of thing. Uh, whereas Let's Plays, you can be a little bit more like, uh, does anybody want to see this? Or are you not having fun with it? And it's a little less important 
um, on your your end, kind of thing. That's my opinion. Anyways, um, my thought process is I've thought about I, I I started doing a let's build, in which I was actually building um, one of the ships I was going to need for uh, the next season of Dog Squad. Uh, oh, what's happening here? That's something I did not anticipate. Okay, so we're going to have an issue really quick that I need to fix here. Um, but uh, what I'm going to end up doing here is putting one above like this, so that then when this block gets destroyed, I should be able to place a window block here, is kind of what I'm thinking. It won't look too drastically different, but it'll change up the block collision stuff. So, um, what I was thinking about is, ever since I started doing stationers, my um, time slots got full. To where I didn't have a spot for the let's, play, or the let's build. And I'm wondering if you guys would enjoy a let's build um, just as much as a let's play. Or if this is starting to get a little tedious, a little monotonous with the, a lot of the design and less of the building and less of the expanding. I think that's the big thing. When it was expanding, everybody was really engaged. Everybody was like, oh, we could do this here. We could do it. it gets people's imagination going. When you're sitting in the same space for too long, it ends up getting a little stagnant. Um, so just kind of some real channel talk here about the ins and outs and what I'm noticing, what I'm seeing as a as a creator person too is oops. Nope, 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 don't do that. Dagnabbit. Um oops. never mind. It got it. Good nano machine thingy. <laughs> it figured out what I needed it to do. Uh, the problem with these flat ones is I can't see where the window is. Honestly, that's what's going on here. I think... Nope, that's not right either. Dang nabbit! When it's the tinted ones, I can see it. And then I can kind of tell what's going on. When it's these clear ones, I can't tell where the window actually is. Alright. This... <laughs> this is bothering me. Ow! What the... That hurt me? Seriously, out of all the times I've just dropped and done stuff and jetpacked for days, that hurt me. Okay. Weird. Um, Alright, so that's... Flip you... There. That should go. I guess I need to go to the med bay. Who knew I'd actually make use of it. Um, so yeah, that's something that I'm thinking about. I have not made a, like, I'm not... I'm really kind of 50-50. It's not like I decided, oh, this is what we're gonna do deal with it. Um, it's more just something I was thinking about of, I do feel like the pacing of this series has slowed a little bit and I've not been real enthused about it, even for myself of like building. I sat down even today and before I started recording, before I looked around my base a little bit and came up with a couple ideas, uh, I was kind of like, I don't really know what I want to do. Like I built the base, I have most of what you would need for a survival playthrough. Um, and some may argue the whole nanite machine setup kind of took away from some of the, the gameplay loop, and, and that's probably true, but I have to play this a little bit differently as a content creator as opposed to just playing for fun. I have to be able to make a certain amount of progress with a limited amount of time, so that's why it was kind of the lesser of two evils. Um, but... At the same time, it does actually, like, oh, full disclosure, it does actually impact the way that the game is played because now you're no longer having to, um, why is that separated? That was weird. Did anybody else notice that? That for a minute there, the texture actually was set? Whatever. Um, so yeah, there it, there is an element of truth to that, but it's one of those I, I don't see a way around it as a YouTuber kind of thing. Um... I don't have enough, re not necessarily resources, but I don't have enough time and stuff. Oh wait, what am I doing? This is the wrong, wrong thing. Um, to do this as a full time, like I spent all day working on it. It's just not in the cards for me at the moment. Um, and with that said, it's just the only way I can really do it. I've, I've mentioned it before, but just in case somebody's 
just now kind of tuning in. That's kind of why I'm doing it this way. Um, but so yeah, I thought maybe, I mean, if you guys have ideas for the base that you'd be interested in seeing built, or like, maybe you could do this kind of thing and I'd like to see your take on it, stuff like that, I don't mind, mind that. Like, if that's what you would rather see over a let's, uh, let's build and you'd rather keep this one, but just do something different, change up the focus, I'm open to suggestions. Um, but it was just something I came up with in my head of maybe one of the ways to kind of I don't, kind of keep everybody engaged and happy with what they're seeing is would it be interesting to see a let's build because i've had a couple of people commenting on my first episode of that let's build with the shadowbound capital vessel um about when is this coming back and it was like eh, because at the moment i don't want to put any more on my plate than the four episodes a week that i'm doing and you know i only do one episode of elite and there are still a small but but um, notable fan base for that series, so I don't want to cut that one out. I'm having a lot of fun with Stationeers, and enough to the point that I even suggested and uh, that Subnautica was coming into full release, and there was a couple other games that were coming out I had thought about doing a, a Let's Play on. Um, and so I was curious about if people wanted to see that, and I actually got more reactions than I expected of, no, let's keep doing um, Stationeers. So I'm having a lot of fun with that game, and apparently everybody else is having a lot of fun watching it. So, you know, that's fine. And then, of course, the Inspiration series is just not going anywhere, because that's like uh, a bread and butter thing to my channel. Um, you know, I wonder if this should be metal or not. I'm going to make it glass well actually let's see what it looks like from the bottom i might not that's a weird it's kind of a weird shape there and actually it changes this too um that i might end up doing slope blocks or something here to compensate for the the change in shape eh, we're just gonna make it glass we built it into a mountain and we didn't really change the mountain shape so it's stuff like that's gonna happen uh, this kind of stuff, though, I didn't think about because I covered it up in the middle of the block. So I need to keep an eye out for that. So yeah, that's something that I'm thinking about. So that's very much an uh, open invitation for feedback and you guys' thoughts and suggestions on that. Because um, I definitely have been feeling like I myself have been not very inspired by what to do each episode on, on this one. Like, what uh, what part I'm going to work on or how I'm going to do it kind of thing. Um, I have not really been feeling that, like, ooh, what about this? And, ooh, we can do that. And, you know. Uh, so I definitely think that something needs to change a little bit. I need to check on my um, glass and make sure that it's able to make enough um I, I, and don't get me wrong i like where the base is going like the style and stuff is cool i like where it's headed it looks really neat whatever um and i think i'm finally getting a look that i really can stand behind like i think it's a cool i think it's working for me kind of thing um let's just make a lot of that so it really just comes down to the pacing of making videos that's the thing i'm happy with the base i'm happy to keep building the base etc and so on but i think for making videos and the time that i have to spend on each video it's not enough to do all the grind work that's really needed to be like let like this is a good example now i have been using this as a semi announcement not announcement but a, a real talk type thing rather than doing a separate video on this i'm kind of doing it at the same time um but it's kind of like this. I could just go, let's do this, and then have a transition, and then look, it's done. If I had more time to put into doing that, and a lot of times I don't. When I do, I try to, but most of the time I don't really have that kind of time to put into it. Um, and so it's kind of one of those I'm trying to cut out as much as I can so that you guys aren't bored. Uh, but realistically, I have to be aware of how much I really have time to cut out and how much I don't. Where did my seats go? Alright, well, we're just going to do this one. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. So, yeah, that's kind of something that I've been thinking about, and 
am curious about what you guys end up or where where you guys stand on some of that stuff and if we're on the same page or if it's like no we're fine just do something different for a couple episodes you know or if it's yeah let's let's do a let's build thing you know that kind of stuff um because it is something that honestly i need to get done anyway because if i want to actually do some of the dog squad stuff which i do um you know uh, i need to build the ships that i'm going to use so it needs to be done and if i do it without recording it then it'll be like part one and then all of a sudden it'll be a <laughs> part two and it's done because i didn't actually record any of it um you know so i'd like to do it as a let's build because it would so it would kill two birds with one stone. It would give me a video series that you guys could enjoy and watch. Um, and even suggest ideas for and stuff. Maybe do it two blocks. Maybe do one block here. Maybe do less here. And maybe taper the... You know, I can get feedback from people and make it look better. Um, but at the same time, it's also getting ships that I need for the machinima done. Because um, I need to build those. So there's that. So it's kind of a two bird, two bird one stone situation for that one. Um, but it was basically just an idea that I had of when I was, when I logged in today and was finding it difficult to come up with, what do I want to work on this episode, um, to go, hmm, well, maybe we could switch it up a little bit, you know, stuff like that. Um, I think that's really it. I probably could just keep jabber jawing because I'm fairly skilled at that to chew up the time okay that's one that's like that so let's do Ooh, should we do floor or should we do will it not let me do ceiling oh it won't let me do ceiling dag it all right fine let's do one there how about one here and then if i follow my own pattern it would be here i don't know how that's gonna look that might be okay, might not be okay. I might want them every other. Actually, I think I've been doing every other, haven't I? So if I do one here, skip one, one here, skip one. It still ends up there. I was trying to actually get one in the middle. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa now. Um, I'm having some weird frame rate spikes. Okay, so literally if I don't move, I'm at 30 frames, and as soon as I move, it drops to like 15 every time. What is going on? Um, this is really weird. Alright, I'm going to save this and reload it and see if it clears up, because I don't know what is happening right now with my game. Okay, so, so far so good. I basically just closed everything down and cleared some RAM that was in standby on my system, but it's never done that before, so that was really weird. And I'm also wondering why this has stopped building, so I'm thinking it's probably out of materials, possibly. I thought I told you to make more. I guess it already made it. Let's just do a crap ton. Let's just do a lot. Um, so yeah, that should be doing more now. There we go. Um, so let me look at what's down here. Because I might change up... Hmm. We do have a bit of an odd shape here. But like I said before about it being kind of a built into the mountain that was bound to happen. I definitely think we could do angles along here. And then maybe just do like an inverted corner. I don't know how to... Well, yeah, we... Well, no. Because I was going to say we could do... I just have to remove those lights, probably. I was going to say we could do... Keep it going slope into the wall. Uh, which is doable. But... Were I to do that, I'm going to have to remove that light. Eh, not a big deal. We could put um, interior lights here in the closer to the middle kind of space. Because if I did my math right, there should be uh, like um, 
maybe a slope here and a slope here and an inverted corner there or something. So I'll have to remove that light too. Oh, we've already got some slopes going on. No? Oh, that was the doorway. Okay. So I may have to alter this block here, which may throw a monkey wrench into things. But for now, we could put um, lights there and that should be fine. There we go. Let's see what that ends up looking like. Um, well, actually, no. I I don't know. Yeah, those blocks are mounted to those ones up top. Ooh. I'm going to have to redo these lights. Poo. Uh, well, what are you going to do? Is it still running? It's got to be making more, and it's just not able to keep up. It looks like it's stuck again. This nano thing keeps think keeps looking like it gets stuck, but I think it's just running out and waiting for the assembler to make what it needs. Yeah, so it's still making stuff. Okay. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's kind of where my head's at at the moment. Um, I don't really know what the actual solution will end up being. Yeah, uh, but pretty much it'll it'll come down to either if you guys have ideas that you would like to see that would make it more interesting, um, rather than me just kind of trying to make up stuff, or uh, whether or not you'd be okay with um, with a. Is that gonna fall? <sighs> okay, I really wasn't sure if that was gonna fall or not. Or if you guys would be okay with the um, uh, let's build tight style for well not style but instead of doing because I, I i i should be very clear on this if it's not apparent um that i'm not talking about doing um kind of a um switching gears and stuff like that it's like it would be one series or the other it, it would basically be the let's build that i started doing a couple of what i don't maybe four weeks ago, five weeks ago, something like that, because it was before I started doing, um, whatchamacallit, Station Years. Uh, that one. is. I'm, I'm basically talking about uh, suspending the survival series and kind of temporarily replacing it with the Let's Build series. Is is. I don't think I can put it any more clear than that, so if it still doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. <laughs> basically. Um... So, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I'm not really sure. It's not really a definitive thing. It's just something I was uh, debating. Oh, we do have the half blocks, too. I forgot all about those. Maybe we could use... Well, I could use them here to, to cover up just part, but I don't think I like the exposed... Um, is it done breaking all that down? Okay, good. I don't think I like the exposed look of the catwalks in between there. I'd rather it be kind of like one or the other. I'm gonna break that one too. I don't know if I need to or not. I might need this one. I can't tell. I seem to have accidentally... Wait, why? Oh, no, I could put my cursor there. I wonder why it wasn't working. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to... We're getting a little low on time, so I might do this part really quick and see what I come up with. And once it's done taking this down, then I'll do that and we'll see what it looks like at the end and we'll go from there. Alrighty, so here's what I ended up with and I didn't even think about it until right now that this glass panel is totally in the way. Um, everything else I think looks okay. It looks a bit less symmetrical than I prefer, but it is kind of that, like, you know, built it into a mountain kind of look where you just kind of work with the terrain. I'm not sure about that one little piece there. I mean, we left a couple of spots where the terrain was kind of overflowing, I guess, but I think this just looks weird to me personally, so we're gonna take it out. Um, as for this guy, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a quinky dink here. 
well, no, that's kind of just a fun way of saying coincidence, so that's not really right. Uh, predicament is probably a more accurate term. Um, so we are... I don't see a way around making this a corner for this style that we just set up, but that means we're going to have to change the upper part here. Um, from a slope to something else. Because um, right now there's there's just a hole in the floor. Um, wait, whoa, whoa, what just happened? Did I... Did I actually move some of this? It seemed like there was dust particles flying and then all of a sudden I could fit through there. That was weird. Um, yeah. No, I just, I don't know of another way to do this other than to just put a block here. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference. We have a window block there, up top. Um, I mean, again, it's not ideal, but it's the only way I can get that corner to fit where I need it to, so I think we're just going to have to roll with it. It does kind of stick out a little bit more than that angle block did, but... Like I said, at the moment, I can't think of another way around it, so we're just going to have to go with it, I think. Well, in truth, the only way I can think of, and this is something I'll, I'll look at, but I don't think I'll end up doing, um, is I could have left that block there and moved this back one and had it cut over a little bit later, kind of like this one did here. Eh, that might not be a bad idea, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. Alrighty, so here's what I kind of ended up with. Uh, it looks a little bit on the funky side because of the, um... Nope. There. Because of the, uh, spaced blocks here. That, um, I mean, once again, if you... <laughs> just off the top of my head, you had combo blocks. <laughs> um, that wouldn't really be much of an issue, but, you know... You gotta work with what you have. Um, so this let us keep this style, which looks better from up here. It just looks a little bit more um, funky, I guess, from downstairs. But I do like this look. I definitely think this works. It marries well into the already existing catwalk frame we had here. Um, and I like the glass, like you could look down and see what's going on below you. So I do like that for this room specifically. I think this works really well. Um, and it kind of further reinforces, I think I like this style. Now for this part here, I don't think I'm going to do glass mainly just because A, it's kind of just rocks underneath. Um, I don't know though. The lighting side would be kind of cool to do this as glass and then have lights coming up underneath of it, but I think for a hangar where it's supposed to be supporting a ship and stuff, I think it's fine the way that it is. Um, so yeah, for the most part, I think other than the med bay, I think we're pretty much squared away uh, for how I want to do things with the exception of uh, I need to add the extra lights in here. I think, let me know what you guys think of. Do you like this with the spotlights or does it look too like you just drilled holes down for the spotlights kind of thing, or should we just leave it the way that it is? Uh, but the biggest uh, question I could use you guys' feedback on is do we want to continue this series or do we want to switch it over to the Let's Build and, you know, go with that for a little bit. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. I think that's going to do it for us for this episode. We're going to wrap things up here. I do apologize for all of the talking and a lot of the visible grind work there that um, I didn't really cut out so we didn't end up making as much progress on anything else aside from the hangar. Uh, but like I said, it was just kind of something that needed to be discussed a little bit and I wanted you guys' feedback on and stuff, so it just was the best opportunity I had to go over it. So, on that, we're going to wrap things up here, though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!